knowing that it happened this close and to potentially one of my neighbors is even more upsetting. That could have been my wife. That could have been my daughter in that car. A community in shock tonight after a Lyft driver is accused of raping his passenger. Tonight, we're learning new details about the man accused of that crime. It happened on a ride home to Zionsville earlier this month. 24 Hour News 8's Megan Sanctorum is in the newsroom with the details on this case. Megan? Yeah, Dave, the driver is in the Boone County Jail right now, facing several charges, including rape, sexual battery, and criminal confinement. Community members and other Lyft drivers and Uber drivers say what he's accused of doing is infuriating and disgusting. It should have been a safe ride home after a night out, but a ride with this Lyft driver turned out to be anything but. We were absolutely disgusted. Uh, we wanted to know who it was. We wanted to know if anybody knew anything. Other ride-sharing app drivers are still in shock as court documents reveal new details on a terrifying ride. According to Zionsville detectives, 22-year-old Noor Al-Badri was working for Lyft when he picked a female passenger up. Detectives say he started making inappropriate comments to his passenger. She told him she wasn't interested in him but felt so uncomfortable she turned her phone on to record the conversation. Detectives say Al-Badri became more and more aggressive and ended up raping her before dropping her off at home. I could never picture hearing something like that, I guess, is, it's crazy. This is just completely unacceptable. Other drivers we spoke with tonight say they had never seen or met Al Badri, and he was not active in social media groups for drivers in the area. Tonight, they're hopeful the woman involved is okay, and they say the actions of one do not reflect the vast majority of drivers. We literally have their lives in our hand, and we want to make sure that they're able to get from point A to point B safely, and that's what we're here for. Online court records do not show any prior criminal history for the suspect in this case. Lyft released a statement in response to this story. To see it, head to our website or app. In the newsroom, Megan Sanctorum, 24 Hour News 8.